guys welcome back to my channel so guys today i'm at ubangaji market here in the city of boko so this this market is an old market it used to be a place where they bring children here for correction it's like a correction center back in the olden days okay so before now if you have a child that is misbehaving you will bring your child to this place and it's like a correction center they will keep the child in this place i'm going to show you guys the building of that place also but now is a market the place has been turned to a market so before now they will put the child here they will correct the child and then the government will be taking care of the child so here now it has gone to a tomato and pepper market this is a big market for tomato and pepper market so i don't know we'll go inside and be talking to people to the sellers and it's like a farmer's market here now so we'll go inside and be talking to the sellers inside the market who we'll know the prices of tomatoes and pepper inside this market so let us go into the market and talk to the sellers thank you guys and i hope you guys enjoy this video okay so guys here is where the tomatoes have already been bought by buyers from the sellers okay so all these tomatoes you are seeing here all the tomatoes you are seeing here that have already been bought packaged for movement so later on they will load it into the truck up there the truck you guys are seeing up there so let us load into the truck so let's go and talk to the seller up and then so so we have to know about Katwane why? Katwane is my new name so what is Nuka? wow that has been a long time so, I don't know, I believe that Ufa can be Kaswane in the Okay. So, Kaswane can be much in Kiva, but that is a big people. Okay. Okay. So, guys, you said this market, they normally open it around 6 a.m. and it closes around 6 p.m. So, you can come in back late now. Okay. So, So, case it to six hundred, five hundred, three fifty. Okay. So. So she usually brings her tomato basket, 200 um, baskets of tomato and 400 baskets of tomato. That would get much to say she should take one Two solos and one solo. Okay. So, just end. Can you tell me? Eh, that means ten, four thousand or eight thousand. Okay. Double, double, we are showing. Eight thousand, nine thousand, So, how can you say that? Say, can you walk more today? Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, ma. And God bless you. Katwa Ado. Okay. 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 So, ma, you know what I have to Katwa Ado? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Katwa Ado, ma. I don't know. That is 12 years. Okay, seven years. Why is not you like a swan in Bangladesh? That's what my two and Pepe. My young girl forgave and you hear she young girl in it, but as one again, that's Okay. 
Banga Banga tomato. So that farmers market. Harvest market is straight from the farm. Then pay your mayama that then continue. Okay. So that is one of the opinion when you see tomato. That then you see tomato because one is enough. That then you know about tomato then and then we run that down. So here yeah, they used to put children under 18, under 18. Under this you would be like they would stay here and they have people that would take care of them. So it was a correction center and not a market. It's of recent that they've turned into a market. So this place was a correction center and not a market. So this is the building where they used to keep the children that were stubborn to their parents. Here in this small building that you guys have seen here. So I believe you guys have enjoyed everything about this market. And I'm going to walk about and show you guys how people are populated in this market. There's a lot to buy here, like a lot of tomatoes. I didn't come early, but I believe that yes, there's a lot of tomatoes that farmers do bring to this market and pepper. So let's go to the president, the person that is headed about this market to talk to him. Can you brief us a little bit about this market? In terms of buy, in terms of transport or what? In terms of um, history. History of the market? Yes. The market was established in 1996. Okay. We were operating this market in the market in the market. So before then, what was happening here? Before the, before the existence of the market, what was happening in this place? So the and other things. Is it only people from Benue State that are allowed to buy tomato and pepper from this market? No. Okay, so one of the questions I would like to ask this market, as people are buying from here, where do they take these matters to? No, they buy from here, take it out the of Lagos. Airport, Uwere, Abba, all over the nation. Just take it, all over the nation. Okay. So, the tomatoes bought from here, is it the farmers that fix those prices or the association of the marketers? Yeah. Apart from um, Ubangaji, is there any other bigger market? Apart from this market here, yeah, is there any other bigger tomato market than this? You mean in Boko? In yes, in, in Boko. Uh, we have one at Down Kenge. Okay. But Ubanga is the mother, mother, mother body of the same nature, tomato and pepper, which we buy three times in a week. We buy Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Okay. So when is the opening and closing hour of this market? We have no closing time, we have no opening time. Oh. Wow, that's great. So thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So guys, here is Papa. Papa is one of the eldest men that know much about this market. 
and i met him and he was just explaining to me how the market was founded and why it was suggested to be in this place so just continue watching this video and listen you guys i hope you guys enjoy this video okay so let's go let me explain to you guys what papa was saying so papa said this market was founded in 1996 but before this market was established here there was a place like you see this building is sitting under it was like a prison yard okay and a correction center where they used to bring children to this place that the government would take care of them as an earlier onset the government would take care of them and then uh, they would send them to school from here if they are willing to go to school while some will just continue without farm work or activities that's when they know that the child has calmed down okay so um that the market was this tomato market was in another village which is one kengi so there they used to sell market up to now they do sell tomatoes and pepper in that market but they brought this tomato here because they thought it was a silver place that's the person that found this place thought it was a safer place for marketers to come and do their work in this like to buy their tomatoes from here because initially before now what used to happen is that when others from that's where other people come from different states to come and buy these village boys would just collect their money and run away with it. So the founder just um, said, why not find a safer place where no one will be able to run away with people's money. And then he brought the market to this place because I think uh, this place was already shut down by that time. That, that was in 1996. So he now brought the market here and Baba was telling me that this market has only one entrance. So no matter how smart you are, you can't run away with people's money. So by the time you leave with people's money from that entrance, maybe from the market, inside of the market to the entrance, already you've been caught. So they found out that this place was safer than Ankengi. So that was why they stationed the market of tomato and pepper here in this place called Ubangachi. So Papa was now explaining to me that this market falls three times in a week. They have um, Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays. And he went ahead to tell me that if I had come earlier by maybe around five, six there about, I would have seen how beautiful these farmers used to shade their product, like their tomatoes here. So, but because I didn't come early, that is why I didn't see a lot of it. But there used to be a lot of tomatoes in this place, like... He said, I would have seen the beauty of tomato. That was what he was telling me. And I believe, yes, because the little clips I got from here, it looks really, really beautiful. So the essence of doing this video is to encourage you guys to visit Benue State and see how beautiful this state is. Because Benue State is 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 a place is is a state that fills the nation we have a lot of um resources from the state yes we have a lot and it's so so peaceful like it's peaceful you you, you don't get harassed in any of the markets 
So I encourage you guys to come to Benue State and experience your state. Like, yeah, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to my channel.